Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Got back from New Hampshire this afternoon and uh, was delighted to see all of the snow has melted off the top of my car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, good. Yeah, it was. Did, did was you guys lot. have a little bit of rain down there yesterday? Yeah, was, yeah in the morning it wasn't it, so hot. It was, was drizzly it? Uh, yeah. for the last couple of days. Think that made a difference in people coming out, or? It wasn't bad. I mean, it was pretty warm. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, probably not. But nice to be back. Yeah, good to have you back. Well, we've got a little snow on the way, so mm, your car's going to do it again. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how it's been going. You get a little snow, then it melts around here. It's been relatively warm, as you know, throughout the season around here. Hey, we've got a shot of Plattsburgh here, getting darker a little bit later these days. Sun going down, gosh, about quarter after five, which is a nice change from not too long ago. 38 degrees in the city. We've got a west-southwest wind at nine. So lots of us in the 30s. Not Jay, 24, but Derby at 30, 28 Barton, then you get into the 30s again, like Burlington, 35, 33 degrees. In Wilmington, we'll head on down to the south, and again, a lot of 30s, uh, the weather map. You know, from time to time, the wind, I mean, not bad. I was out skiing today, and you could certainly notice it, but it was warm enough where it wasn't that much of an issue. But in Burlington, we've got a 13 mile an hour wind at last check. Montreal, a little bit quicker than that, teens in a lot of northern New York. All right, we've got an impact day coming in tomorrow because we've got snow on the way and the snow will be here for the morning commute. Not like we're talking huge piles of snow first thing in the morning, but we're thinking a couple of inches on the ground by eight or so. So I think that may slow you down a little bit. So be aware of that. It is gonna snow through early afternoon, much, capital letters, much colder for Friday and then Friday night. This is the way it's going to feel Friday morning. I was thinking about not putting this map on, but I guess you got to do what you got to do. It's going to feel like it's way below zero in a lot of spots. As cold as 20 below, we'll have a bit of a wind Friday morning. And then straight temperatures Friday night into Saturday going to be really cold, well below zero again. And that's not the wind chill. We've got some clouds out there that will continue to be on the increase. They will thicken up. This is the storm system that is coming our way. You know, it's a three to six inch kind of thing, but the timing not ideal for the morning commute. So here's how tomorrow goes. We're in the 30s for a big chunk of the day. By late in the day, it gets a little bit cooler. And then, of course, temperatures are going to be going down by tomorrow night in a pretty substantial way. So future cast eight o'clock tonight. Let's take you through the overnight. The clouds are thickening up and here comes your tomorrow. We'll see exactly how this pans out, but we think there's going to be some decent snow first thing in the morning and then even into lunchtime here. During the afternoon, we think things are going to start breaking up, so we go to snow showers. So the evening commute, not looking at as much snow falling at the time, but uh, kind of the damage will have been done, if you want to call it that. I'm sure the roads are going to be plowed pretty nicely by then, but secondary roads uh, may be a little bit behind. So partly cloudy early tonight, snow late, temperatures in the upper 20s and 30s, so it is going to be pretty mild. Then for tomorrow, steady snow through early afternoon. Again, temperatures looking pretty good. They start to drop late afternoon into evening time. Bye say seven o'clock in the morning, one to three inches on the ground for just about everybody, although extreme southern Vermont, southern New Hampshire, a little bit more than that. And then by later in the afternoon, getting into evening time, generally speaking, most of us see three to six inches, probably closer to three, maybe four, right in the Champlain Valley. 33 tomorrow with the snow to two tomorrow night. But you know what? First thing Friday with a bit of a breeze, it's going to feel cold. Six is your high on Valentine's Day. And then it gets real cold that night. Seven below. That's not wind chill, everybody. 20 Saturday, 35 on Sunday. President's Day. It's going to be a busy week around here. Of course, the ski areas are in pretty good shape here. 30 degrees Monday into 35 on Tuesday. Some snow showers. And then look at the rest of the week next week. Wednesday through Saturday at this point, Stu, looking pretty good.